Hi, I'm Peter Kong from Freebie. To begin with, in the last academic year, 2014 to 2015, I luckily went to the first in Form 2 Liberal Studies. The purpose of this video is to share my experience. In this video, I am going to introduce the land of Liberal Studies. The letters are L, E, N, and D. L stands for Lesson. E stands for Efficiency. N stands for Notes. And D stands for Daily Lives. First of all, let me talk about the first letter, L, which stands for Lessons. Do you think it is possible for teachers to put all the relevant information into our notes? Probably no. The reason is that the curriculum of liberal studies is too right. The only thing that students can do and the responsibility of students is to jot down important points during lesson. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Form 2 liberal studies teacher, Ms. Lan Wing Man, for her teaching. She painted some videos and used PowerPoints for teaching us, which helped me to have a better concept about the topic. Through knowing more about the marking scheme, which teachers always taught us in lesson, we can know how to get full marks in some long questions. Well, while we are studying, we can improve our efficiency. Oh, I have talked something about our efficiency. Let's move on to the next letter, E, which stands for efficiency. You see, this is the notes for Form 2 Liberal Studies. I face challenges as well as obstacles when studying them. This is because there are too many things that relate to recite or memorize. The only thing that we can do is to memorize the important parts. Take this for a, an example. I highlight the important parts. Before the day of the examinations, I only study the important parts in order to save my time. However, someone may claim that it is not very good to, for us to choose some important points to study as they are good students that, want, that they want to study all the things. I know how they are feeling. However, when it comes to examinations, our only aim is to get high marks. Do you think it is possible for all the things in these fake notes to, to be tested? in a one-hour examination paper? Probably no. I suggest them to leave the less important parts after we have finished the most important parts. Next, let's talk about the next letter, N, which stands for notes. The most important criteria of notes is that notes should be made by ourselves. Studying notes given by the tutorial teachers or anybody else is pointless because notes should be come from our brain. It is not necessary to, for us to copy all the things or every single word from our textbook to our notes. We, sh we can only jot down some important notes or important points. However, what is important points? Important points are concepts that cannot be obtained through logical reasoning. For example, the definition of globalization and the definition of labor rights. We should write the notes tidily as if, if we wrote and write the notes in a messy way, we won't be happy when we are studying. Lastly, let's move on to the last letter. D, which stands for daily lives. Liberal studies is a lively subject. As a consequence, we cannot study our textbooks only. We must apply what we have learned into our daily lives and the related, related issues. 
To conclude, please remember the land of liberal studies. They are lessons, efficiency, notes, and daily lives. I hope that this video is beneficial to all of you. Goodbye.